Hello. Just got back, made myself a cup of coffee. Just gonna have a bit of a sip and then we can start. Hello, Karen here and welcome to day four of my 30 day phrasal verb challenge. If you're new here and would like to learn more about this challenge, then please watch my day zero video. I'll put a link to this video up here and also down in the description box below. But of course, you're more than welcome to just watch this video and learn a new phrasal verb today. We're going to be listening to a man today and he just says one sentence. We'll listen to him four times as per usual, twice at the normal speed and then another two times at a slightly slower speed. And I'd like you to try and write down what you hear. And then afterwards, we can talk a little bit about what he said today. Okay, let's go. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. Sounds like a book, don't you think? I think a whole book could be written about that. Probably has been a book written about that. And now let's talk about a few things that he said. Firstly, incident. An incident is just something that happens, but something is bad or strange about it. A shooting incident, for example. <laughs> Obviously, that's never a good thing. Or there might have been an incident at your son's school. So the school is closed for the rest of the day and maybe even tomorrow. We don't know what happened. We just know that something did happen and that it's probably something bad. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. To go down. This phrasal verb has a lot of different meanings. A lot. Here, it just means to happen. And using this phrasal verb in this way is very informal. So it's really only used in conversation when speaking. So don't use this phrasal verb in this way if you're writing something, especially at work or in an exam. Here, something bad or unusual happened at the art gallery. We don't know what happened. We don't know what went down. We just know that there was an incident there. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. Let's listen to this sentence a few more times at the normal speed. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. There was an incident that went down at the art gallery. That was day four of this 30 day phrasal verb challenge. If you found this video useful, then I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to try and write your own sentence using this phrasal verb. And don't forget to practice saying your sentence as well. It's important that you also practice your speaking skills. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you back here tomorrow for day five.